Hello everyone, today we're going to be trying out the new Home Chef Castle stuff pack that just came out this week. So I wanted this to be a home for two chefs who need a very large and functional kitchen. And I also wanted it to be very modern and also bright and cozy, like a space where you would like to invite your friends over and have dinner. So this is actually the second time that I'm building this because when I started to build it I lost power. So that was unfortunate, but thankfully I wasn't that far along into the process. So this is going to be the general shape of the kitchen, but I will make the island a lot larger. And I also rearrange a few things. Actually, I am not sure if this counter space is functional for cooking in the end, but you can always just move one of the small appliances when you need to cook. So I also wanted there to be a coffee nook. I added the espresso machine and the grinder. I forgot to mention that I am building this apartment using fonts from a natural household in which one sim is a chef and the other one is studying culinary arts or something like that. So I made them and I have been playing in it for some time. I also added some of these decorations here on a shelf. These shelves have some lighting underneath which I think is pretty cool and also the plates are stackable which makes me very happy. As usual, this apartment is available on the gallery. You can find it by searching for my ID, which is very new. The gallery link to this build is also in the description, by the way. I am trying to have that in all of my videos. And if you are enjoying this video, you can like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But this is the living room. It has this yellow sectional couch and lots of plants in the corner. I really like how bright this area came out. And also I added the little tray with the book and the teacup from the book nook kit. It just makes it look so much cozier. I also added the chair from that kit, but I didn't but I decided not to keep it. And I also wanted to have a dining room besides the kitchen island. This is number 18 called Pepper House by the way, and when I bulldozed it, it kept this light green color on the walls, which I thought was really pretty and also it matches these new counters, so I thought that was perfect. I decided to use this tile all throughout the apartment because I am used to houses having tile everywhere. Actually, um, wooden floors are not something I see often. So this is what I do with the kitchen island. I make it deeper and I also added some more stuff underneath these little shelf that the island has. I swap out the um, tissues for one of those candy jars from Paranormal, but that is the general idea of it, and I decorated the living room with another shelf and some more plants. I think I used every item from this pack. Maybe I forgot one, but I don't think so. Well, I, I only used one of the of the lamps that it has, the shelf that is above the island is actually considered a light and it home comes in three lengths, so of course I only used one. But I decided that I wanted to add some candles to the dining room and I also needed a rug to separate each of the areas. I used one from Cats and Dogs and one from Tiny Living. They have very similar patterns and to finish the the living room area, I just added a shelf underneath this painting and added some clutter to it, as well as some, some pillows to the couch. Oh, and I also have already changed out that chair for the for one of the craftable ones from Eco Lifestyle. The green that comes with that pack matches this perfectly, so I really like how that came out. And I also added some more candles and some autumnal leaves to the to the shelf. Here in the bedroom we are using this modern bed from Dream Home Decorator. I struggled a bit with the curtains in this room because these windows they are on a diagonal and so it's a bit finicky to add curtains there. But in the end I did make these new curtains work. And I also decided to use some kitchen counters in the bedroom. I, I'm not sure if that's an unusual choice, but I wanted it to look like there was some built-in storage in this room and I, it also allowed me to add some makeup and this mirror. I added this chair next to it so that it gives the illusion that you can sit down and do your makeup that way. 
and I also finished this by adding this this dresser also from Eco Lifestyle and the Frame TV. I just added some more decorations and and I do end up coming back to it a bit later to change a bit the wardrobe area. But that is the general idea for the bedroom. So now we are working on the on this very small office space. It just has one of those desks from Eco Lifestyle and a cube shelf that I made from the modular shelves from Dream Home Decorator. And I added some books to it and a storage box. This is a very functional space, it just has a computer and minimal clutter, I think. I have definitely made some desks that are a lot more cluttered. But I figured that since these chefs just um, work mostly outside and I think they are very successful, but they don't need a lot from an office. Just a space for a computer and some books, so that's what I did there. And in the bathroom, which is actually larger than the than the office, I wanted this space to be sort of luxurious and somewhat European. So I just added a curtain to separate the, the shower from the rest of the room. And I used these tiles from from the new stuff pack. I really like these and I really wanted to use them in the kitchen, but in the end it, it didn't convince me. So I used some tiles from Parenthood. And I accidentally cut off that footage, but you will see it in the screenshots. And this is what I what I do in the bathroom. I just to separate the space a bit better. I added a platform so that the shower area would be a bit sunken down and it looks like you were going to get everything wet when you took a shower, so so that's how I what I did there. And I am just adding some finishing touches to the apartment. I added some rugs and changed the the curtains the way I mentioned. They they aren't perfect, but thankfully we have this curtain rug that makes it look a bit more convincing. That is pretty much it for the build. I will just add a platform on the wardrobe area so that the door doesn't look like it's floating. But that's everything for this build. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.